Please be seated. Bud McKenna, here for Christmas. <laughs> the bar has been set really high, it's up to you. technological advancements that we are witnessing in the world today. Undoubtedly, our world is now overflowing with technology. Gaming systems and television has created a false impression that reality revolves around them. The second line, constant access to technology teaches teens that they must always have choices because everything they play with is a drop-down menu, explains Cook. San Diego, California, USA, in February this year. The World Cup of Moose Wedding Glove was crowned the best speaker of the tournament while John Mangwendez and Takot Badeniza to learn in my town and talk to him. The father, Hara, and Sean Matika, inter-CBC representative, well done to soccer. On a 20 hundred meters freestyle and four by 50 meters individual medley. Josh McCorney on a 17 50 meters butterfly. Welcome him home. It 
current structure of African economies are not sufficiently developed, which robs young people of an ability to think through towards understanding the causes to problems ourselves, and to be able to generate several possible solutions which can be tried and tested. And so I would encourage young people to, 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 to dream, to have a passion, and to invest in that passion long before you get to university. And we in the Zimbabwe have on the Great Dyke rare minerals that will supply the, the production of batteries for the world. That's innovation. Okay? Something new. The Biology Prize, the Chemistry Prize. Geography, Jordan Lynx. English Literature, Jack Lowe. Cup for the most improved hockey player. Perfi, track soccer star Perfi, Tadira Fazizha. Thank you. Final sporting trophy, the Knox Trophy for the most. Thank you for your help and guidance throughout our lives, especially in today's ever fluctuating world. We would not have learned such lessons without our precious teachers. These amazing people have guided us through tough times and given us fond memories for our time at CBC. That your mental approach to any situation will determine how difficult or easy you'll get through it. While watching chapter, Alpherson, I wonder who motivates me with, with philosophical quotes when he is no longer around. It has been a pleasure and an honor to work with you. And I would like to say thank you for the amazing lifetime memories and friends. Please keep in touch because the brotherhood formed here will last a lifetime. I will greatly miss the pack. If I can leave you a few words of advice, I will tell you this. Have real friends and not your swing. Keep your circle small and have a solid relationship with your seniors. People will praise you to your face and criticize you behind your back. Overall, have a thick skin and accept it. Thank you. Thank you. And for uh, 2019, Arish Naik, Wade Pedigan, and Anthony Hadebe. Michael Muziwago, Michael 
James and Bujani Bebe. Remember that tables turned, bridges burn, you live and learn, and oftentimes it's the journey that teaches you the best. We will surely miss you. To the student body, I hope to your actions have a direct bearing on the image of our school. I would like to share my simple philosophy on my faith. Hurt no one, know thyself, be free. God is the goal, worship is the way. Live to serve with love and pray. This is the way to God. Thank you all, have a very good night. Before we sing the national anthem, if you could please Oh! 
Ah, não, 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 não,